Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is moments. This topic is from third unit statistics. In previous lecture we have discussed arithmetic mean, standard deviation, coefficient of variation. Now the next topic is moments. There are two types of moments. The first one central moments. Moments about the mean are known as central moments. Moments about the mean means moments about the arithmetic mean are known as central moments. The arithmetic mean of various powers of the deviation x i minus x bar is called central moment of the distribution and it is denoted by mu i mu suffix i. See the arithmetic mean of various powers of the deviation x i minus x bar x bar x bar is here the arithmetic mean is called central moment of the distribution its notation is mu i mu suffix i now for ungrouped data ungrouped data means when only observations are given frequency distribution is not given then in that case the general formula to find the arc moment is equal to summation in bracket x i minus x bar bracket complete to the power r upon n n means number of observations here and for group data group data means when the distribution is data is given in the form of frequency distribution frequencies are given then the general formula to find the arc moment is summation fi in bracket xi minus x bar to the power r upon m here there is small correction this x is not the common x it is x bar here arithmetic mean so the formula is mu r is equal to summation fi in bracket xi minus x bar to the power r upon n n means summation f capital n means summation f this is the general formula to find the arc moment about the mean of the distribution now there is one note if r is equal to 2 then mu2 is equal to summation fi in bracket xi minus x bar bracket complete to the power 2 upon n this is called variance of the distribution mu2 means second central moment is nothing but variance of the distribution variance means square of standard deviation remember this thing now the second moment raw moments moment about any point of the observations different from mean is known as raw moments the arc moment about any number a is denoted by mu r dash and is given by the formula for the general formula when the data is given in the form of frequency distribution the general formula to find the raw moments is mu r dash is equal to summation fi in bracket xi minus a capital a bracket complete to the power r upon n where n is equal to summation f if d is equal to xi minus a here a is this capital a is arbitrary mean means any value of x in central moments we take here the arithmetic mean x bar c here the formula is x bar here we take x bar arithmetic mean while finding the central moments here also it is x bar small correction this is not a common x it is x bar here also it is not common x it is x bar but while finding raw moments then we take any value from the observations any value we denote it by a capital a we can say it is arbitrary mean and suppose if d is equal to small d is equal to xi minus a then mu r dash is given by then this formula reduces to mu r dash is equal to summation fi d raised to r upon n where n is equal to summation f okay so this is the general formula to find r moment raw moment now there is relation between central moments and raw moments now see the relation between first four central moments and raw moments mu1 is equal to 0 mu1 means first central moment its value is always 0 mu2 means second central moment it is equal to mu dash sorry it is equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square mu3 is equal to third central moment is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash 
to the power three. The power three. Mu four means fourth central moment is equal to mu four dash minus four to mu three dash to mu one dash plus six to mu two dash to mu one dash whole square minus three mu one dash to the power four. The relation. These are the relations between central moments and raw moments. First four central moments and raw moments. Now the next topic is skewness. Next concept, skewness. To get the idea about the shape of the curve, we study skewness. Skewness signifies departure from symmetry. This is the use of skewness. We get the idea about the shape of the curve, whether it is normal curve or it is stretch curve. We can conclude about the shape of the curve by this concept of skewness. See, there are two types of skewness: positive skewness and Negative skewness. If the mean lies to the right of the mode, then the frequency curve stretches to the right. Then the distribution is right skewed or positively skewed. You see in this diagram that mean is to the right of the mode. It is stretched. It stretches that frequency curve. This frequency curve stretches to the right, and so this type of Skewness is called positive skewness, or we may say the curve is positively skewed. Distribution is right skewed or positively skewed. Now negative skewness. If the mean lies to the left side of the mode, then the frequency curve stretches to the left. Then the distribution is left skewed or negatively skewed. See the diagram here. That mean is to the left of the left of the mode. Left side of mode, and the frequency curve stretches to the left side. Stretches to the left side. Then this distribution is left skewed or negatively skewed. Okay, and now the coefficient of skewness is here. The coefficient of skewness is given by beta one, and it is equal to mu three square upon mu two cube. Mu three is the third central moment. Mu two is the second central moment, and the formula to find the coefficient of skewness is beta one is equal to mu three square upon mu two cube. Okay. Now, the next concept is kurtosis. Kurtosis is a measure which gives an idea about the fatness or thickness of the curve. It is measured by the coefficient beta two. Kurtosis is a measure which gives an idea about the fatness or thickness of the curve. It is measured by the coefficient beta two, and its formula is mu four upon mu two square. Beta two is equal to mu four upon mu two square. Mu four is the fourth central moment. Mu two is the second central moment. Mesoquiratic next. See, depending upon the values of beta two. There are three types of curves. See, the first one is mesoquiratic curve. The curve which is neither flat nor peaked is called the normal curve or mesoquiratic curve, for which beta two is equal to three. It means when we calculate beta two, the coefficient of kurtosis and its value is equal to three exactly, then the curve is mesoquiratic. Mesoquiratic means it is a normal curve, shows symmetry, normal curve. Second is the platycuratic curve is the curve which is flatter than the than c1 c1 is first curve is platycuratic curve for which beta 2 is less than 3 means when the coefficient of kurtosis that is beta 2 is less than 3 its value is less than 3 then your conclusion is that the curve is platycuratic curve and then third curve is leptocuratic curve when the value of beta 2 means coefficient of kurtosis is greater than 3 Then the conclusion is that the curve is leptocuratic curve. Okay, this this is the concept of kurtosis. Now the examples on moments, skewness, and kurtosis. The first example: the first four moments of a distribution about the value of four of the variable r minus one point five seventeen minus thirty. 
and 108 find the moments about the mean and beta 1 and beta 2 here see the first four moments of a distribution about the value of 4 about the value any value 4 means this is the value of a arbitrary mean a is here the variable r means about any value 4 these are the first four moments minus 1.5 17 minus 30 and 10 means these are the raw moments here moments about any value a is equal to 4 means these are the raw moments first four raw moments are given means here mu1 dash is minus 1.5 mu2 dash is 17 mu3 dash is minus 30 mu4 dash is 108 the moments about the mean are given by now you know that the relation between central moments and raw moments so we'll discuss the moment relation between central moments and raw moments this is the relation between central moments and raw moments now raw moments are given so here in this relation you put the values of all the raw moments then you will get the value of first four central moments see here in the example the moments about the mean are given by because our aim is find the moments about the mean means you find the central moments and then beta 1 and beta 2 so first central moment mu 1 is equal to 0 it is always 0 mu 2 is equal to formula is mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square now you know the values of mu 1 dash and mu 2 dash given mu 1 dash is minus 1.5 mu 2 dash is 17 put here the values and the value of mu 2 is second central moment is 14.75 mu 3 the formula is mu3 is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash into mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash to the power 3 now put here all the values of raw moments which are given here mu3 dash is minus 30 mu2 dash is 17 mu1 dash is minus 1.5 put here all the values calculate simplify it you will get mu3 is equal to 39 point we are getting it 39.75 here mu4 mu4 means four central moment is equal to mu4 dash minus 4 mu3 dash into mu1 dash plus 6 mu2 dash into mu1 dash whole square minus 3 mu1 dash to the power 4 now put here the values of raw moments which are given here in the example and simplify it then the calculated value for mu4 is 142.3125 this is the fourth central moment or moment about mean so these are the first four central moments or moments about mean now beta 1 and beta 2 beta 1 coefficient of skewness formula is mu3 square upon mu2 cube now mu3 square is 39.75 you put here the value mu2 is here 14.75 you put here you simplify it then beta 1 is equal to 0.4926 okay this value is a very small value it is nearer to 0 so the curve is slightly positively skewed your conclusion is that the curve is slightly positively skewed because the value is very small and when the value is very small and it is positive so the curve is slightly positively skewed beta 2 the formula is mu4 upon mu2 square and we put the values of mu4 and mu2 here then it is uh, if we put all the values then the value of beta 2 is 0.6543 And 0.6543, this value is less than 3, so the curve is platycuretic curve. The curve is platycuretic curve. So this is their conclusion. So this is the example of moment, moment skewness and kurtosis. So this session is over here. In the next lecture, also we will discuss about the examples on uh, moments, tones, and cultures. Thank you.